<laughs> Hi everyone, so I'm here with a new design on my nails and I'm just using um, Nao Nails Natural Beige Cover Pink here to make my smile line and there was a little bit of hair in the acrylic there so I was just getting that out. There hasn't needed any preparation on the nails, I've literally just filed off my old design, filed off the bulk, obviously sanitised as always and then I'm just going in straight for my application to blend into the old acrylic. I'm just making my smile line here and I'm going to build up my nail bed, making sure that it's nice and crisp and that it is not too thick but the highest point of the nail before I add all my other little bits of nail art in there and also so I don't lose the smile line that I've worked hard to create. I'm just going to build up this nail bed and then I'm going to meet you right back. Okay, so once I'm happy with that, I'm just going to file them edges really, really crisp. So my smile line is really, really crisp. And then I'm just going to go in with my NSI purple, which is called Plum. And I'm going to literally like <clears throat> use a wet bead purposely so that it is wet and thin. And just fill it up around that nail keeping it flush as I can, keeping my work clean, making sure I'm cleaning the edges. I'm going to fill up that with purple until I'm happy with that opacity. This is why your smile line should be your highest point as well, so that when you are applying your acrylic or your nail art or whatever you are doing as your French, you're not, it's not going to flow over onto that nail bed. It's still going to be that nice, crisp smile line. So again, I'm just pushing it into them corners, keeping it all crisp. And then I'm going to keep adding that until I'm happy with the coverage. I am going to fill this with nail art anyway, so I wasn't too bothered about how opaque it was. But again, I didn't want any of that nude coming through that nail at all. Okay, once I'm done with that, I am then going to apply some Mylar Flakes and some little golden balls <laughs> that I've, I'm really immature I find that funny every time I say it I can't say it without laughing but anyway yeah and then I'm going to add some poor shell pieces and then I will meet you right back
Okay, so I just want to point out that I am now on the pinky and I am repeating the same process as I did on the thumb. I did get this inspiration from a Princess Shan on YouTube. This video she did was a while ago now, I'm pretty sure we're pushing it over a year ago now that she did this design. And I've always loved it, so I thought that I would recreate it with different colours and different nail art. The, the shell that I'm using is not the angel paper, it's actually real poor shell that I have crushed, well smashed to smithereens to get it little enough to put it on the nail. Again, you know, I'm building this up, I am not making it thick. My smile line at all times is my thickest point because I am going to encapsulate all the nails. I also want to give a big thank you to all the people that dislike my videos because I'm finding it so funny that I will upload a video and not even five minutes with it being on there is a dislike so thank you you are not a hater you're actually a fan because you know you've subscribed to me yet you don't like my videos don't really understand how that works but thank you for them views anyway so on the ring finger I am just filling up the nail with the same nail art process that I have on the other nails and then I will move on to my pointer finger. Now, when I did apply my glaze and go, like an absolute donkey, I recorded the wall again because my wall really wants to be famous. <laughs> so I am sorry about that, but I haven't sped the video up massively again. And I have showed the nail art process and I have left pictures for you all at the end. So as always, I'm going to say now, thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for the people that take the time to comment your nice comments and constructive criticism on my videos. And for those of you who don't, well, thank you anyway. And, you know, if you haven't subscribed, please do. And, oh yeah, and the, um, sorry, nail prep video that I have had up from start to finish, the prep, the application, I have, and the filing that will be up tomorrow night. It is recorded. It is ready to go. It just needs the voiceover, which I will do tomorrow for you all. I hope you've all well and not been blown around too much by this horrible wind. And I will see you all in my next video.